Hello my Virgos, Guiding Halo here. This is going to be what's coming in for you mid-June. Let's see what's coming in for you mid-June. Mid-June for my Virgos. Please, money, finance, career, mid-June. We have the Moon card. Could be dealing with a Cancer. Important psychic insights, events behind the scenes. Release your fears that hold you back. End the cycle of having fear that's kept you out of situations that are emotional. There's some sort of emotional letting go here, letting go so that your emotions can develop something. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments, a guardian angel. So there's an angel around you uh, that's helping guide you with these circumstances and situations you're dealing with. I'm just gonna pull a card to see exactly which angel that might be here one of them i'm sure there's more than one let's see what we got guardian angel around you archangel haniel interesting let's see what we got for guardian angels around you we have archangel metatron and angels of love wow someone could be stepping up their emotional game apparently this is a uh, very much along with the astrology that's going on too right now um changing in living situations changes in emotional scenarios all these types of things some of you may be deciding to do things in a new way where your emotions are there's something here that's been keeping you out of out of grasping the stability and situations you need and it's time to step into that new we have the ace of swords so this is brilliant ideas a challenging beginning truth delivered we have the queen of swords here having an epiphany that taking care of your emotional life helps you build a stable financial life in some sort of way or taking care of your financial life helps you build a solid emotional life. Loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. Buckle down, get things done, honor your commitments, guardian angel. All right, Archangel Metatron, angels of love are around you. Perhaps you've been all in your head about circumstances you should be feeling with your heart. And perhaps it's time to have a heart chakra awakening. It's gonna be an end of that cycle. I feel as though the divine is graduating you graduation day you've done the work you've stepped into a a new cycle of trust I, I think there's some sort of modicum of allowing yourself to let go and let go of control let go of having the final say it's, someone's graduating to allowing the divine to have a say in their life unable or unwilling to make that decision perhaps there's been a lot of indecision and perhaps you might be very undecided about what you're moving into, how and why that's all going to come to fruition for you. The Divine would like you to take the leap of faith. See, this is the last card in the Major Arcana, and this is the first card. Then we have the second card coming out here in the Major Arcana cycle. So you're going to move quickly in this new cycle that you're in, I feel. You have everything in your arsenal to create what you desire. You have a, an epiphany finally as to what's been stopping your movement forward, if there has been anything stopping it. I want to say it's kind of like a mind mental belief set that you had about having to be unto yourself. It's almost like the divine is proving you wrong here. Someone here has been a lone wolf. Someone here has been a lone wolf, and I want to say that you've been in a cycle where that has served you, absolutely. But I feel as though we're coming into new partnership with the divine and a, a new level of trust with your emotions and your finances, it's going to create an epiphany. There's some sort of cutting out all that no longer serves you and doing so in a loving way that benefits you as well as others coming in here. Tell me about this. Oh, I just saw the judgment card. Making a decision to have a new start, a new beginning. Perhaps there's some modicum of going back and forth between should I or shouldn't I? Because this is a 21 and this is a 20. So this is the second last card of the cycle you're in. So there's been this, I feel this back and forth energy. It's like I'm moving forward, but have I really made the decision? 
The divine is moving you forward. Have you really made the decision? The divine's calling something, welling it up within you, saying it's time to move forward, time to move upward. You've been in a cycle in your life, perhaps, where you've felt dead, where there's been no movement. I'm telling you, the divine is in charge of this whole scenario. I have four major arcana out of seven, well, five major arcana, I guess, out of nine cards. That's the majority of major arcana here so far. Someone could be needing to sign a contract or a paperwork surrounding something. I don't know that a lawyer is involved, but I feel as though you may need to sign some sort of uh, paperwork to cinch the deal. Shh. There's a kitty cat saying hello. Hi, Marcy. You want to say hello? You're such a pretty girl. Yeah. This is an older kitty. She always comes to the Virgo readings. She herself is a Virgo. In fact, all my cats are Virgo. Just saying, I have Freya and I have Marcy here. I just saw the Ten of Pentacles. So the Divine is calling you to something incredibly stable that could stand the test of time. Upwards to 10 or 11 years, 20 even, 21 years in your life. Transformation. Look at that. The ending, absolute ending of this cycle. You've been going back and forth between something in your mind and it, it's been about stepping into the new and starting the new you've been in hangman mode about it should i shouldn't i should i move forward i want to say that the 13th between the 13th and 20th of june are going to be very big for you i have 13 and 20 and you very well 21st may close out a cycle entirely Ten of Pentacles. What did I say? Family legacy. Long-term commitment. There's some sort of, of legacy coming in here. It transforms your life. It's like you're stepping into the start of this whole venture. It's going to be incredibly stable for you financially. Incredibly stable for you in all ways because I have the magician. You very well could be dealing with a cancer. Uh, if you're dealing with a cancer in your life, I'd say that they themselves are ending a cycle and you're starting this new cycle together. Look at where Pluto is in your chart, how Scorpio is aspected to your financial life. For me, I have Scorpio energy in the 12th house, which makes complete sense as to the planet of ending cycles. Transforming in a very spiritual way believing in yourself finally i want to say that would be for me what about for you guys where does scorpio sit in your chart and where does it relate to money and taking that leap of faith all right that's, that's what's grounding the reading is the ten of pentacles this is amazing energy amazing a transformation ending a cycle and bam as if by magic we have some stability. I wonder if you feel as though you have been your own stability for so long and the divine is stepping you into a situation where you have a tribe around you to help you build your build stability around you. Tell me about this. What's crowning this reading here, please? For my Virgos. Expanding your horizons. Your ship's coming in in a way you can't even see. It sits right on top of the angel. It's like being guided to expand your horizons. To believe in yourself in a different way, perhaps, I want to say. Archangel Metatron, angels of love. So perhaps some of you are coming into a, a love of self, a new love situation. Um, leveling up, taking a relationship to the next level. A relationship with the divine, a relationship with money, take it as it resonates. Could be a relationship with another person, family member or otherwise. But you're stepping into a new way of loving, a new way of being a new way of doing, uh, oh, okay, a new way of understanding how love is affecting your finances. How your love of life, your love of self, all of these things are affecting your financial security. I'm looking for my other deck here and I can't see it to save my life. I tell you what, that's rather annoying, but okay. <laughs> we're going to pull energy cards, but I like to pull my angel cards here and the divine say, no, nope, we're pulling energy cards here because you can't find your deck. Well, I think I just found it. There's something that you've not been able to find for quite some time. 
So I'm just gonna, oops, sorry about that. I'm just gonna pull an energy card here instead. So we have cycles, yes, absolutely, end of a cycle. We are all becoming, surrender to your changes, release your fear, trust this powerful process. We know that you can't see all the way going forward, but they want you to trust the process. Take time for the dreamer in you. See, taking the leap of faith is starting what it is you dream of and the solid foundation there. Find your power and stillness in your sacred space is the peace you seek. And I want to say some of you might be having some issues with Scorpios at this point in time. And that very well could be that it's because it sits in your chart in some way. It's like in saying, no, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going down this road financially. I'm going to step into a new cycle because it has something to do with Scorpio and Pluto in your chart. I feel as though you're, you may end up being creating that type of energy with the people you're around as well that are Scorpios that have ruling Pluto in there. Thing. Tell me about the Three of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles. Manifesting secure abundance, financial security, emotional security. There's a gift that I feel like there's something a lot deeper and more powerful coming in for you right now than you expect. Not seeing the positive in the cycle's ending, maybe even grieving an ending cycle. A sacred space of being alone. I wonder if that's the cycle that's ending. Stepping into this Ten of Pentacles. Wondering how it is, because I think someone here has been on a journey to try and build Ten of Pentacles all by themselves, but you don't see people here all by themselves in the Ten of Pentacles. This, this legacy, this thing is, it's not an all by yourself legacy you're creating. The Six of Cups, walking away from childhood beliefs about, I wonder if someone was taught even as a child that you have to stand strong, stand firm. You've got to like, you know. You're, you've got to be a lone wolf. You, you've got to be dependent and on your own and, you know, independent, I'm trying to say. There's no such thing as dependency. And perhaps it was great and it served you well. But I feel as though you may be moving into a cycle that, you know, where that's ending. Making a decision, perhaps. Someone could be making a decision on soulmate. Tell me about this end of a cycle. Putting the burdens down. You're almost there. Man, you're so close to it. So close to putting the burdens down. There's been a lot of indecision, perhaps, about whether a leap of faith should be taken or not. Really trusting your intuition. How do we do the difference between fears and intuition? Well, a lot of times we don't know. So we have to move forward in faith and take that blind leap of faith. Someone could be having a resurgence of love in a relationship or communication that comes in that blesses any soul. Something you wouldn't have expected previously. Bottom of the deck, I have a temporary self-imposed prison. Your thoughts are what stopped you here in this circumstance. Tell me about what the angels have to say to you about this. What the angels have to say to my Virgo friends. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. You are confused and indecisive because you don't have enough information. Do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. So that maybe needs to be done. I wonder if someone's going to take a leap of faith before doing that and just trust the divine that it's all going to flow the way it needs to flow, which wouldn't surprise me in the least right now. Wouldn't surprise me. Bottom of this deck, we have partnership. Learn to grow with others, overcome obstacles by working together. Touch each other's hearts while life lasts. Something about coming into a new cycle of learning from, from others. How you create with others. And then on the bottom of this deck, I have the Emperor as well. So really, I wonder if this is about combining two Emperor situations. If this is about work... Uh, where you have two emperors that are offering you something, either one could be stable. And the divine is saying it's absolutely correct to take the leap of faith in this circumstance. You feel as though it's incredibly poignant and, and powerful moment, like it's going to be a destiny situation, and that's because it is. There's definitely a moment of destiny here. I'm surprised they don't have the star card. All up in your head, you've had a heavy mind about what and not seeing the positive 
is about to taking control of your emotions and your psychic abilities and putting in the work. What should I do to move forward? You're anticipating beautiful things because that's what you should do. And I think it's going to give you the opportunity to have a time out for sure. I love you guys. I hope you have a beautiful week and a beautiful mid-June. Blessings to you.